I'm going to show today um, how I uh, adapted the Astrophysics 1100 mount that you see on the right to my Astrophysics Eagle tripod. Uh, I had to do. I had to make an adapter to get that to work. Now on the uh, left side, you'll see the Mach 1, and I thought it would be interesting just to show the difference between the two. Uh, the uh, 1100 I got because uh, it's going to be a much better to use with my 175. And um, again, uh, when I called Astrophysics to order the 1100, I talked to George Whitney, and uh, he told me, no, you know, they don't make an adapter. They don't recommend at all using the Eagle. He said it's too small. But I'm going to give it a try. I thought, you know what? Let me let me give it a try and see what happens because uh, I think at the very least. If I uh, put my 130 on, should be fine. But I'm going to try the 175. So as you can see, the 1100 is a much beefier mount. And um, they made some changes when they came out with this a couple years ago. I had my eye on it. And since Astrophysics has a sale going on, I thought now's a good time to buy it. Um, the declination axis... The knob here on the other side, just like this, actually allows you to take this dovetails on, and that, that can come off very easily, as does the deck cap. The deck cap is the same way. Unscrew these two screws, these two knobs, the deck cap pulls right off, and uh, they use that for cabling and stuff. And I ordered an extra one of these, so the, on the one, I'm going to put my saddle for the, for the 130, in this one, I'll put the saddle on for the 175. But the interesting thing is that this mount, I don't think, is heavy at all. I uh, think I'm going to leave it in one piece and just get a case for it and just keep it together like this. They also have, on both sides, where you can put a uh, bolt in there for such purposes if you don't want to take it apart to give it a little more strength. So. That's what I think I'm going to end up doing, because this is not that heavy. And I just like the fact of not really having to take it apart, but you have that option. And um, so if we turn it to the uh, back side, the polar axis, you can see the difference between the two. This is set up as is the 1100 for the polar scope, their, their polar scope that came out with a couple years ago. They got a really nice bubble level on the uh, 1100. Here's the bubble level on the Mach 1. Now, one thing that they didn't put on, <coughs> that they didn't put on the 1100 is the compass, which I've got to work around for that. But I kind of like the compass because I could offset the mount to seven degrees west declination, get me kind of close. It actually worked out very well, so that uh, when I did polar align. Uh, really close. And there you see the counterweight end. Now the Mach 1, I did the upgrade. And that's the secret how I did, how I was able to uh, make the adapter for the 1100. Is when I had the earlier Mach 1, they had the azimuth adjustment up front when they came up with the uh, retrofit to the older models I kept the base it was a two-piece base so that's the secret as to what I did to actually uh, make the adapter in which to put that 1100 on the Eagle Pier here I have the deck housing separated from the right ascension housing and uh, you can see how they've machined this with this dovetail in here that this sets in here and then you tighten this down and 
then those those knobs, uh, those points come up down in here. And these holes are where you put an additional bolt should you want the extra strength for that. Very nicely done. Astrophysics, as anybody knows that has any of their equipment, does a beautiful job of machining. Fit and finish are just impeccable. They do a great job. To change the altitude, it's very simple. You have four of these locking knobs, two on each side. Now that allows you to adjust this up and down with this captain's wheel. And that end fits into a insert, a stainless insert, so it doesn't wear the aluminum. It uh, keeps it from wearing. And what's interesting is, to change, it's very simple should you want to go to a lower altitude. All you've got to do is take this and just move it wherever you want to, whatever latitude range you need. matter of once you get this adjusted tighten the locking knobs down and that's it very nice and on the back side this is what controls your uh, azimuth when you're getting it polar aligned push-pull on this plate in here and it allows you to go whatever uh, you know uh, whatever direction you need to go to get the pole star okay and this is how simple it is to attach the deck axis the deck axis Now this is the adapter that I made. Now to test this, before I get aluminum, I had some uh, pop at the house. So it was nine and a quarter wide, so I just cut it nine and a quarter long, made it square, and um, decided to use that. I'm going to substitute this with aluminum, and then uh, all my holes will be drilled and tapped instead of bolted. It'll be tapped into the aluminum. So, as I had said earlier, when I got the update base for the Mach 1, this is the old base, and it was a two-piece. This is the bottom of the, of the two pieces. I did have to drill one extra hole, drill and tap one extra hole. So, this diameter is what will be received in the Google one up here. And then, on the other side, I bought the flat surface adapter for the 1100. And uh, that, so this will go on to the telescope. And uh, this is the south, this is the north. They actually have it marked on, uh, on the um, surface adapter, flat surface adapter for the 1100. And anyways, so it's very simple to do. Now, what I did to locate this is I got the outside diameter and then used the trammel to make a circle and then did the same on the other side and then so then when I set this up I got this within the circle I made the circle just a hair bigger so I could see the line and then I took clamps that were tipped and just clamped the two sides that would allow this to be held in place then I used what they call um, a 
transfer punch. If you can see it here, it's got a very small tip, and um, as the name implies, it's for transferring hole locations from from something to the surface or a piece of steel. Now you cannot use this like you would a center punch. You just tap. You just tap on it on the other end. You just tap on it and that gives a little impression and then you take a center punch and make it deeper and then you drill it. But since this is wood, that was no issue. I had at it. Hit it in there, made a nice deep impression. And um, this slides through the tapped hole. So you pick the one that, that fits it nice and snug, tap it, do all four, and then I drilled it out and likewise did the same for the flat surface adapter and um, that simple drilled it out and um, for this purpose here I had bolts that were laying around uh, and just used those they worked out just fine so I didn't want to invest anything extra than what I had just to see how this was going to work but that's the secret into mating this to the Eagle tripod. So I've placed the adapter onto the Eagle One tripod. And there you have it. Well, so here you have it. The 1100 is sitting on the uh, Eagle tripod and uh, ready to put the uh, 175 on. Alrighty, we're ready for the unveiling. Uh, well, George, this is your last opportunity uh, to pull the plug on your computer. I know you told me don't try it, but I had to give it a try. So I'll give you a couple seconds to get out of the room, pull the plug, and we'll do the unveiling. And there it is. Worked out really well. Now, today's very windy. It's pretty windy, as uh, I'm sure you can tell by the audio here. But uh, we got a nice uh, breeze coming out of the south. Um, but, uh, you know, for visual, uh, I think it's going to be fine. And if I put the 130 on there, it'll be more than adequate putting the 130 on there. <coughs> uh, I will end up buying the 10-inch uh, Astrophysics Pier, though, the portable pier. I will end up buying that because ultimately I want to do imaging. And so this will not, won't do the, the, the base. But I'll tell you what. Uh, for something really portable, I, I really do like that Eagle. Uh, I love the Eagle tripod. So um, let's check it out. I'm using three 18 pound counterweights and that's the standard shaft that comes with the uh, mount. That's the one that uh, is sold. I think they said it was 14 inches long but um, it's working out works out well. <laughs> 